small block of weight W rests on an adjustable inclined plane as shown in figure. Friction is such that sliding of the block impends when alpha equal to 30 degrees. So this is the angle. Sorry. This is the angle where the uh, block is able to slide on the inclined plane without any external forces acting on it. So it is nothing but angle of repose, right? So angle of repose is denoted with theta, so which is 30 degrees. So we know that the relation between angle of repose and angle of friction is equal. So phi is angle of friction and you know the relation between angle of friction and coefficient of friction which is nothing but mu is equal to tan phi, right? So which is nothing but tan 30. So this is indirectly given there. So coefficient of friction indirectly given there by mentioning the angle 30 degrees. What acceleration will the block have? So that means what acceleration will the block have when alpha equal to 45 degrees? Neglect any difference between static and kinetic friction. So first for the given figure, so I would like to draw the free body diagram. So it is on the inclined plane, right? So like this. So the block is on inclined plane. So first we need to represent the weight. So weight acts vertically downwards. And normal reaction perpendicular to surface. It is not able to move in this direction. In the opposite direction represent the normal reaction. And uh, So it is inclined plane. So with it is making an angle of alpha right. So that means I can resolve W into two components along the plane and perpendicular to plane. If this is the alpha, this is also going to be alpha. So then it is W cos alpha and it is W sin alpha. It is accelerating in this direction. In the opposite direction there will be inertia force MA which is nothing but W by G into A. And if it is uh, moving in this direction in the opposite direction there will be frictional force F. So this is the free body diagram under uh, dynamic condition. So now I will consider sigma Fy equal to 0 first. When I consider sigma Fy equal to 0 so there N is equal to W cos alpha. And this is uh, x direction along the plane it is x axis perpendicular to plane it is y axis. So uh, perpendicular to plane so n along positive y direction w cos alpha along negative y direction. So n is equal to w cos alpha. Okay so this is the relation I got uh, for uh, n. So the object won't move along y direction it will move along x direction. So consider sigma fx is equal to 0 so when you consider that Okay, in dynamics we are considering inertia, right? So inertia force. Consider including that W sin alpha along positive x direction. So it is F minus MA equal to 0 or sigma F minus MA equal to 0 or in turn you can consider it as sigma Fx is equal to 0. Okay, W sin alpha acting along positive x direction and next minus W by G into A minus f is equal to 0. From this w sin alpha minus f is equal to w by g into a w sin alpha f is nothing but I got uh, uh, n value as w cos alpha right f is nothing but mu n so mu into n instead of that so I can write that w cos alpha equal to w by g into a. So taking w common on both sides on left hand side so w into sin alpha minus mu cos alpha is equal to w by g into a. So w w gets cancelled. From that I can find the value of acceleration. Acceleration is equal to g into sin alpha minus mu cos alpha. So here in the given problem it is mentioned that the sliding will impend when alpha equal to 45 degrees. So that means the motion will be there when alpha equal to 45 degrees. Substitute the value of alpha here as 45 degrees. So g is nothing but 9.81.
or otherwise you can keep g like that no problem there so i'm keeping g like that only g into uh, sin alpha is nothing but uh, alpha is 45 right sin 45 minus mu i got that one is uh, tan 30 so in the problem it is mentioned that so tan 30 into cos alpha is nothing but cos 45 so simplify this one you will get 0 0.3 g so this is value of acceleration you can simply keep it like this or otherwise you can substitute g is equal to 9.81 meter per second square and you can simplify it furthermore thank you for watching hope you like this video for more videos do subscribe my channel thank you for watching